Hey guys, welcome to day five of the vlog. So Kale usually makes the ramen that we eat for lunch. That's today's lunch. And look, we're actually eating lunch at home today. Yeah, we've been eating out a lot. It's been a really busy uh, October so far. And we think that we're fancy because we add an egg to our ramen. And this is like Korean ramen. Yeah, it's um, kimchi flavored. The brand is called Shin Bowl, and it's our favorite brand. Yeah, we fancy like <laughs> adding egg to our ramen. So for today's vlog, it's gonna be pretty simple. The smoothie shop that we sell soap to now has bubble tea, so I desperately want to try it. So we might go down and grab some of that to try. So this morning, I got up, uh, took the dogs out, fed them, and uh, made a batch of whipped up a batch of body butter, mm -hmm. some lavender cedar wood body butter that we'll need for some orders and that we could definitely use this weekend when we are actually going to vend at an event. Aside from that, pretty exciting news. The waste management um, brought their bins, uh, their new bins, and they're all rollaway bins. So that might be easier taking out the garbage in the recycle. But they're, they're just huge. very big. They're I'll very big. Them. They're giant. I spent the morning editing today's vlog that came out now yesterday, but it's today. Today. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's been a lot of fun doing that. I'm really enjoying the process. And I wanna I can't wait to make more because we have a lot of stuff that's gonna be happening in October. We have a trip planned actually coming up in mid-October. Are you gonna be vlogging every day on the trip? I'm gonna try. I'm going to try. Do you believe in me? I do. I just don't want you to get stressed out thinking that you have to do a video every day. I know. I know. But I just really like to set these crazy challenges for myself. And this is definitely on the high end of crazy. <laughs> but let's see if I can do a full week. Baby steps. Well, you're 79% of the way there then. <laughs> So here are our new bins that we got, and they're quite big. <laughs> they're a little bit too big. And here are the compost and the recycling. Pretty huge. What do you think about them? They're a lot si more sizable than our other bins. Yep. Our old ones are back there, so it's quite the upgrade. <laughs> So Kale has just dipped into the post office to drop off those packages. And while we're out, we're gonna be grabbing that bubble tea from Mega Mindful Living, which is the smoothie shop that holds our soaps. And then we are also going to drive by a house in a nearby neighborhood. It's not Midland, but it's nearby. And we're just gonna check it out. And it's a little out of our price range, but it's good to know what's out there. If we could afford it, this would actually be a really great property. So we're just gonna drive by and see it and be a little creepy. <laughs> How many of you guys like to do that? Like to drive by houses that you could possibly buy, but you can't really afford, but it's still nice to drive by it. <laughs>
And what is this? It is field berry bubble field tea. Berry. Field berry. So what we got was the field berry bubble tea with milk. Uh, oat milk is added. Okay. And the reason why it's blue is from the butterfly tea. Okay. I'm gonna have to double check on that, but how many different choices of flavors did they have? Not a lot. Yeah. Okay. And this was actually I like, like that though. I like this that. This is like a personal choice because she I think right now it's just jasmine and oolong and then there was a chai, which we're not the biggest yeah, yeah, fans yeah, of, yeah. yeah. So we're gonna try it. Yeah, I think this is a good choice. Look at that. I love the color. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Very good. Poppy Thank you. poppy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we love them. <laughs> Thanks for stopping. Thank you. What do you think? Not as much flavor as regular bubble tea, I think. That's, that's, what that's, I like about that's it. probably because of the oat milk. Mm -hmm. Like it's not as sweet. Also, I know from other bubble tea, because we used to live in Toronto, we used to get bubble tea regularly. A lot of these places add a lot of the um, artificial flavor packets, and it's like packed full of sugar. And yeah. I don't think this stuff is. When I say not as flavorful, that's like not a bad thing. That's kind of a healthy thing. I did give myself um, mm. uh, a bolus of insulin before this, but I might have to, that might be too much because this isn't even actually that sweet. So you might have to give yourself another thing to another snack to eat. Mm -hmm. People love Gibson. Yeah. <laughs> can you see him back? Yeah, you can. You, you can, can see him over shoulder. Yeah. Here we are in Wabashin. Some really cool houses here. Some old, old houses. Lots of really big lots. Old gas station over there. Oh, yeah. it's for sale. I want to buy a gas station. <laughs> <laughs> Scary. That is, <laughs> that is just creepy. What <laughs> did we just see? Some dead kayakers. We're in cottage country. Someone better skeletons, call the- Skeletons artists. kayaking. They died doing what they love. Yeah. <laughs> That's some really cool uh, Halloween decorations. But they had their uh, life jackets on. That's true. Safety first. That is so important. It's just like you should have your son your safety glasses on. Yes. <laughs> so we drove by those houses. We drove by two. And the first one we drove by on accident because the one that I actually wanted to see, I gave Kale the wrong address. <laughs> so we drove by a different one. But that first one was in a town called Wabashin and um, it's kind of out of the way, a little far for us, I think. Yep, it's Being a little out bit there. outside of town. Yeah. The house was a fixer-upper. Yeah. But it was very close <laughs> to the water, very yeah. close to a little park with a boat launch, which That's a would be nice, but yeah. yeah, yep. But not missed the mark by a lot, so mm -hmm. probably yep. not gonna look into that one. And then the other one that I really liked is way out of our price range, <laughs> but I still like looking at houses like that because it's something nice to aspire to. Yeah. That one is a really good house. Yep. Yeah, in a really nice road to right on the water. It's The house is not on the water, but you can see it from one of its balconies. So that was cool to see. But the search continues. We're gonna keep our eyes out because we need a new space because we're running out of it. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully we will find one soon we'll keep you guys updated and hopefully the next house we actually view and walk around I can get some footage and show you guys but for now we're just gonna stay in our home and make it work we're gonna keep saving keep dreaming and keep hoping that the right house comes along <laughs> Gibson, come here. Gibson come here. Come here, Gibbs. <laughs> so that's it it's gonna be a short vlog today thank you to everybody who is watching we have a ton to do tonight so we're just gonna close it out right now so we can concentrate on 
production. And I have volleyball tonight. And Gil has volleyball because he's um, part of a community volleyball team, which is really cool. <laughs> you love it, by the way. Oh, yeah, I love volleyball. <laughs> See you, Lynette. See you, Lynette. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to wrap this up, and then you guys can catch us in the next vlog. How are you doing, guys? Hey.